the serving size, you guys, is four cups. Who eats four cups just as a serving size? Unless you're like binge eating. I just finished a live video as you might be able to tell from the surroundings and the perfect lighting and the glorious face and the new lip that we have anyhow moving on from that um today is not rainy and overcast and I'm so thankful the clouds just kind of broke overnight and uh so so wonderful because now it doesn't always work this way but it generally helps my body be in less pain or just less fatigued or less awfulness so i'm trying to recover and I know I pushed myself a lot last week, so that could also be part of it. And then the weather went bonkers. So I did an Epsom salt detox bath today. I am live on Facebook, and that was so incredibly wonderfully fun. I haven't done that since Friday, I think. So. I wanted to do it yesterday, but I just couldn't. I was not feeling well. I can feel my body like crashing right now. So I know that I need to go over and lay in my bed, but I'm like, you guys always see me laying in my bed, like sitting in my bed. Although the poster of Jack Sparrow never gets old. Am I right? I know I'm right because <gasps> drooling. Okay. But let me grab this book. I should have had this in front of me. This is the second time I'm reading it. My word, I cannot put this down. It's so good. Let me grab it really quick. Okay, so it's Laura Hillenbrand's Unbroken. It's a true story of, um, it's a World War II story of literally survival, resilience, and redemption. That's what she has written on here, and it could not be more true. It is <laughs> this young man. His life is incredible. It's fascinating. He is um, he's a bombardier in a plane, and he's best friends with the pilot, and their plane crashes in the Pacific, and they actually end up surviving the two of them, they travel and they float over 2,000 miles to the Marshall Islands, I believe, in there somewhere. And basically they get captured by the Japanese and things don't go so well, but they survive. Like it's incredible. It's incredible. And it's just, it's, it's the most fascinating and inspiring story because I'm a World War II like I love learning about World War II like give me the documentaries give me the give me the books give me the this give me the that and this has so much it's like gold if you want to learn like firsthand about stuff the Pacific theater of war is very fascinating to me so Anyway, this is a book that I highly recommend you all read. Laura Hillenbrand, Unbroken. Okay, I'm gonna put a link to this in the description because you, you need to read this. Listen to it on Audible, something, okay? Yeah. I don't even know this song. We're ruining it for Matthew. What are you saying? Put him better though. Pollo. 
smells really good. It's grilled chicken. It smells really good? Wow. It smells. <laughs> it smells really good. Meanwhile, I'm trying to eat a little bit of popcorn in order to... Okay. So, I don't know. The serving size, you guys, is four cups. Who eats four cups just as a serving size? Unless you're like binge eating. Oh, ha, 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 ha. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> so he, he microwaved his chicken and it was still frozen and now it appears to be very, very hot. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> Feel better? Did you burn your tongue? <laughs> they can't see as much as you think they can see. What do you mean? The camera angle isn't as wide as you think it is. Yeah, I know. I have to do it really far out. It's really that's the that's the drawback of using a a mobile device is because. A the, mobile device? Um, uh, a mobile device because you have to hold it out really far. And so it can end up looking really weird. But meanwhile, I'm going to take this huge bag of popcorn and I'm going to go upstairs. Right. I'm gonna put it for that, for that you want some? Okay, well, if you want some, then you're gonna have to put some on the plate. <laughs> you're such a dude. Hello, everybody. Okay, so I just wanted to take a tiny little, like, time out. And I don't wanna do the hashtag symbol. Time out. Time out because today is September 11th and 17 years ago um, life as we knew it as everyone knew it that was born before that point in 2001 changed forever and I was seven years old I remember being home and I was homeschooled. All of my family have been homeschooled. So I remember being home and all of a sudden I think my dad called my mom and then we, we were watching TV, the TV, and then I, I, remember, I remember something about like the president getting on the, getting on a plane to go somewhere and it just like, as a young child, I remember it being just like, this overwhelming like you could just tell even from like my mom like from everyone trying to be calm like you could just tell so anyway I am love quotes and so I I don't usually like to read them um, this is on actually the war memorial for flight 93 in Pennsylvania a lot of times I feel like they're just overlooked that flight is just completely overlooked and I don't overlook it. Um, I feel that it, that was such a valiant um, last effort for them, not last effort, but heroic effort for them um, in their last moments that they decided to do that. And a lot of people just think of the World Trade Towers um, and that is obviously massive, but it could have been an even more massive destruction on our country if Flight 93 had not been crashed into the ground because the passengers, yada, yada, yada. This is on the memorial for Flight 93. It says, we remember the day the world wept in memory of the victims of the terrorist attack on the World Trade Towers the Pentagon, 
and Flight 93 in Pennsylvania. A quote from um, George W. Bush, the president at the time. He says, terrorist attacks can shake the foundations of our tallest buildings, but they cannot touch the foundation of America. We will not tire, we will not falter, we will not fail. United we stand. And I literally just got goosebumps. I am so proud to be a part of this country and I'm not ashamed of that. I'm so proud of our military and I, I have the distinct honor of having a platform on Facebook and here and Instagram and all those places to, to share and to remind people, hey, just because it's another Tuesday, it's it's September 11th. So, it's September 11th, you guys. Well, it's now it's September 12th when you're watching this, but still, don't forget. Never forget. Meanwhile, wrapping things up, I ate some popcorn. I was like eating quite a bunch. I was like trying to get some fiber. I did actually go to the bathroom though, but I don't think it was because of the fiber because I was just, it's still in my stomach. And, I, and then I forgot about the fact that it has a oil on it, so it's high fat content. Not high fat, but now my stomach is like, Ugh. So I think I'm just, I, I'm not even hungry. I'm like, ugh. So I'm just gonna chill for the night. So I will say goodbye, good night, and I will see you super soon.